Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the first grade concept of addition and subtraction, specifically how we can solve word problems involving those two operations, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a simple word problem on the screen. Dominique had 5 toys, her mom gave her some more, now she has 12 toy cars. How many toy cars did her mom give her? Well, we need to represent this, and there's a few different ways we can do this. So one way to represent this could be a start, change, and then result. So if we were to do that, we could draw a box down here. And we could say, all right, what's the start? What is our starting number, our starting quantity? Well, it tells us in that first sentence, we've got five. And then what is our change? What happens to change that initial quantity of 5? Well, we don't know. It's this sum. So that's our missing number. And then if you put those together, you're going to get the result. What does she have now? Well, her mom gave her some more, so she has 12. And so we're going to be looking at how do you go from 5 to 12? Well, we're going to have to add something to make it bigger. So we need to be thinking of an addition fact, 5 plus what equals 12. Another way we can do this would be a part, part, whole. And it's going to look the same way. We're going to have our whole up on top. So that's 12. And our 12 is made up of two different parts. You started with 5, and then we've got that missing number. So it's kind of the same as this start, change, result. So let's just uh, use a strategy called counting up. So I'm going to start with my 5, and I'm just going to keep adding until I get up to 12. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So how many did I add? I added 7. So our answer is going to be 7. Let's look at a different problem. So now we have a new problem. We have some children waiting in line to use the water fountain. Four children got out of line, and only eight children were left waiting. How many children were waiting before anyone left? Well, this is a different type of problem because instead of joining like we did on our last one, we're going to separate numbers. This is going to be more of a subtraction problem, though we can always use addition to solve attraction problems. So that means we are going to have our start up at the top because that's always going to be your whole. So that's the unknown right here. Some children were waiting to use the line. Some means we don't know what that is. So that's our unknown. We're going to leave that blank. And then what happened? What is our change? Well, the change is we had some kids leave. And they did tell us how many. We've got four. Now, they didn't use the digit four. They spelled it out. So it's a little bit hidden there. But four kids left. And now the result is... How many kids are still waiting in line after those four kids got out of line? We have eight. So our question is going to try to find that start. How many children were waiting before? So at the start of the word problem. Well, as you can see, we have a few different options here. What we could do is we could add these two together. We can say four plus eight, and that's going to get us our start. Or we could subtract. We can think something minus 4 equals the 8 kids that are left. Or we can say 4 plus 8. They're all in the, in the same fact family. If you know your facts, you might be able to do this one. But a lot of, a lot of you are going to find it easier to add up. So if you have the 8, and if we're going to add four more. So let's see if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I'm going to add four more, you can just count up nine, 10, 11, 12. So it looks like the answer is 12. How can we represent that in a part, part, whole? Well, we would do the same thing. We'd show the same relationship here. So your whole goes up on top and that's our unknown. And then you can say, well, four kids got out. Eight kids are left, so it's kind of the same as the start, change, and result. And so 4 and 8 together, that does make 12. And so 12 is going to be the answer. That is the number of students we had at the beginning. 